Hey everybody, thank you so so much for tuning in. Today's video is another Dollar Tree DIY video and I am so excited to share because some of these are super duper easy. This video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com. If you don't know what GlassesUSA.com is, it is a website where you can get affordable and high quality prescription glasses and sunglasses for up to 70% off retail and they do this by cutting out the middleman. So you can get frames like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Muse, which is their brand with Hilary Duff, so much more and a complete set of frames with a basic prescription starts at about 30 bucks. They also have really, really cool things like blue light blocking, and you can even get contacts on the website. But the coolest thing for me is that you don't have to leave your house at all. On GlassesUSA.com, you're able to upload a picture of yourself so that you can try on the glasses before you buy them. And if you don't have your prescription handy, if you don't have it written, written down, it actually lets you scan your old pair of glasses and it figures out your prescription for you. So this is awesome. <laughs> This is me testing it out. And the best thing about this is that here's your prescription. And if for whatever reason you don't like your frames or it just doesn't look right, you have a 100% money back guarantee and 365 day warranty. You can add any type of prescription to most of the frames available on the website. And these are the same high quality lenses that you would find at a store you're just getting it at a fraction of the cost. So if you are interested, I will be leaving the three frames that I'm wearing in my description. Definitely check the link out below for glassesusa.com. So before we get into the video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Once you hit subscribe, we instantly become best friends. Did we just become best friends? Yep. And hit that notification bell, set it to all. YouTube may or may not let you know when I post a video, but if they don't, follow me on Instagram. I'm always posting what I'm up to. And let's go ahead and get started. So for this first one, and probably the easiest, I'm gonna use these new canvases that I found at Dollar Tree. They're nice and flat, but they're 11 by 14, so I love the size. Now I've been holding on to this decal, which I found at Dollar Tree for a long time, and I think it just screams boho. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place that on there. Now the decal is much longer than the canvas, so I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife to make the same ridges that the decal has so that this looks more like wall art and not like I just stuck a decal onto a canvas. So I'm just gonna trace along with my X-Acto knife and slowly remove it. Now for the top, I did wanna add a little handle to hang it that way so it looks different. You can use the colorful wood ones. I am actually just going to use the beige ones that I have. I got these on Amazon, but of course the Dollar Tree colorful ones would work. I'm putting them on some Dollar Tree floral wire and twisting the ends like I do in every video. And then I'm gonna paint it with some watered down brown paint. So before I attach this to the canvas, I really do want to make it look a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some Jenga pieces and I am going to add a border to the back of this. Now I will be completely honest with you, they don't line up perfectly. I do use seven vertically and five horizontally and there is one that's a little left over so you can saw it down or just skip it and once I'm done I add my little handle and just look how cute this is this looks so unique and so beautiful I love it For this next one, I'm going to use this little oval tray, which I found in the party section of Dollar Tree. And this is actually really big. On camera, it looks small, but trust me, it is a nice size. So at first, I went in with the color Pueblo from Folk Art, but I'm really loving the warm caramel. I am going to show you how this color looks. This really is a burnt orange. Definitely looks like terracotta. So if that's the look you're going for, definitely pick it up. I think I purchased it at Walmart but I honestly didn't like how orangey it was, so I did go in with my Rust-Oleum Warm Caramel. So this is what it looked like afterward. 
So just to give it a nice touch, I am going to use the new nautical rope that I found at Dollar Tree. It is white instead of the regular side. So I always start adding my rope where I would add an, a handle, just in case the rope does unravel a bit, it doesn't look all funky. So this is the rope that I'll be using and I'll start wrapping just the edges and then work my way up. Now to stop the edges from fraying a little bit, I do add some hot glue and then press it together and then start hot gluing. I'm making sure that I'm pressing outward when I glue because this does kind of fold inward so I don't want the rope to look funky. I want it to look nice and straight so make sure you take your time with this and when you get to this little part right here, then you can flip it over and go on top to do the border. So you can see here, this is why I always start where my handles are going to go because my handles can cover that little funky rope. And now I'm just adding the rest of the rope. By the way, this whole thing was done with one pack and I still have rope left over. I'm going to cut it down, add a little dab of hot glue so it doesn't unravel to the other side. And then I have this super cute bowl tray thing, whatever you want to call it. Now this one is two recycled crafts. This is a tray that I made before. So basically I took a pizza pan and this really pretty paisley paper that I bought at Michael's. I'm not sure if that's paisley or not, but I just outlined the paper, cut it down as best as I could, and then I Mod Podged it to the pizza pan. The Mod Podge is from Dollar Tree, by the way. So now I'm just going to grab my X-Acto knife and get rid of the extra paper, but I am going to cover that up with rope. If you recognize this craft, let me know. Leave it in the comments below. So I'm going to do the same thing with the rope. I'm going to add some glue and then wrap it all the way around. So this is where I'm going to stop because like I said, this is a recycled craft. So what I ended up doing was removing the handles from this because this was a little tray. And now I'm going to move on to the second part, which is another recycled craft. With some raffia from Dollar Tree, I'm just going to tie off the top and I am going to braid this into one very long piece. Try and keep your braid as straight as possible. This is why I have it taped down because you don't want it to look all funky. And this is what I mean. At the end, it did start looking a little weird. So with this mirror, I am going to go ahead and paint it sort of the same shade as the raffia and then i'm going to start gluing this all the way around if you recognize this craft let me know in the comments once i get to the end i'm going to get these really 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 pretty um toothpicks these are from dollar tree as well i did cut some down and then i kept some the original size and i started to place them like a sunburst mirror and when i was done I combined the two crafts so this way I was able to make my sunburst mirror look a little bit bigger without actually having a bigger mirror and the way that I did that was since this was already a pre-made craft instead of drilling a hole to the back to create a little area to hang this I'm just gonna use some e6000 and a rope and hope for the best and honestly it's held up beautifully so I'm just going to put E6000 and a mix of hot glue to hold my little rope in place. Now I totally understand that drilling two holes and adding some sort of wire would have been better, but if I had made this tray specifically for this craft, I would have done that. But since this was a pre-made craft, I didn't. So please don't come for me in the comments. Now I'm just going to attach my mirror using a mix of E6000 and hot glue and making sure that everything dries really well before I attempt to hang this up. But when it does dry, look at this beauty. For 
this next one and my favorite simply because it's so practical i got these little crates from dollar tree i have been wanting these for a while but didn't know what to do with them so i got some wood glue this wood glue is from dollar tree you can use this one or gorilla wood glue gorilla wood glue sorry about that whichever one you'd like i'm gonna try this one because i really do like the super glue brand so I'm just going to add a generous amount, spread it, make sure that it's not seeping out, and then I'm going to make sure that it's nice and straight and clamp it into place so that it dries securely. Now that that's dry, I'm going to remove my clamps and I'm going to move on to making a little shelf for this. Now you can use it as is for whatever you want, but since I'm using this specifically as a sunglass or glasses storage, I'm going to create a little shelf. And with this, I just used one pack of the Dollar Tree rulers. I'm going to go ahead and remove that little strip, save it for later just in case. And then I'm going to measure it out and cut it down. To measure it out, I just held it up against the crate and made my mark i cut them down and i'm not going to get rid of these two pieces here but this is not what i'm going to use as a shelf now i am going to keep this part facing up so that my glasses have some sort of grip because of these little things so to attach them i am of course going to use my wood glue but you can use hot glue if that's easier for you make sure that it is not seeping out and that it is nice and centered let it dry really well and then we're going to flip it over so that this leans nicely so this is where the other side of that ruler comes in handy because i am going to create a little handle i'm going to take an old picture frame which i had broke the back anyway and i'm going to take that little piece right there and hot glue it into place of course you can use whatever glue you want and then I'm going to glue the ruler to that. So once it is dry, you should be able to lean this nicely so that your sunglasses tilt back and they're in place. You can also hang this on the wall if you want. You have options, but I really love how it looks like this. And you can of course make this much larger if you'd like. So that's it for me. I really, really hope that you enjoyed these crafts. And if you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Shout out to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring today's video. And as usual, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. And I will hopefully see you on the next one.